In this video, we'll cover the integrals of the product of powers of sine and cosine. So the integral of sine of x to the power of m by cos of x to the power of n with respect to x. Now there are four permutations to this sort of problem. First one is when both m and n are even integers and in these cases m and n are all integers. The second case is when m is odd and n is even. The third case is when m is even and n is odd and finally when both m and n are odd. We'll only look at the first case in this video and we will look at the subsequent cases in future videos. So when m and n are even we want to express the sine to the power of m of x by cos to the power of n of x as equal to a constant plus another constant by the cosine of 2x plus another constant c by cosine to the power of 4x plus another constant d by cosine to the power of 6x plus so on and so forth. So in other words, or in more complicated words, we want a series of cosines of increasing even multiples of x, if that made any sense. So how do we get from here to here? Well, let's do an example. The integral of sine to the fourth power of x by cos squared of x dx. The integrand sine to the fourth power of x by cos squared of x it's all about grouping this in such a way that we can use our trigonometric identities to reduce the powers to simply the first power of cosine. So I can write this as sine squared of x by sine squared of x by cos squared of x and I'll group the two trailing terms now I'm going to jump ahead. This sine squared of x I can write using the half angle identity as one half of one minus cos of two x. The second group I'll write as sine x by cos x all squared. Now sine x by cos x you may recall the double angle identity. I can express this as one half of the sine of 2x. And of course this term is still all squared. So I have a half of 1 minus cos of 2x multiplied by a half of sine of 2x squared. So now expanding the squared into the brackets I have 1 quarter by sine squared of 2x and again the sine squared of 2x I can use the half angle formula again to express this as one half of 1 minus cos of 4x. Okay now before this gets too confusing let me write this completely out so I have one half of 1 minus cos of 2x by 1 quarter by 1 half of 1 minus cos of 4x. Alright, so we have 1 half by 1 quarter by 1 half which equals 1 on 16 and we simply have 1 minus cos of 2x by 1 minus the cos of 4x. So expanding this out we have 1 16th 
on 1 minus cos of 4x minus cos of 2x plus cos of 2x by cos of 4x. Now recall from our last video that when we discovered the product to sum formulas cos of u by cos of v we can write this as a half of cos of u minus v plus cos of u plus v. So it follows that cos of 4x by cos of 2x is equal to a half outside of cos of so 4x minus 2x is equal to 2x plus the cos of 4x plus 2x is equal to 6x. So we can sub this result back into here giving us 1 on 16 outside of 1 minus cos of 4x minus cos of 2x plus a half by cos of 2x plus a half by cos of 4x. And now if I rewrite these in order of multiples of x I have 1 on 16 outside of 1. Now negative cos of 2x plus a half of cos of 2x yields one negative one half of cos of 2x minus cos of 4x plus a half of cos of 6x. So this is supposed to be a 6 here, not a 4. So the integral of sine to the fourth power of x by cos to the second power of x with respect to x can be expressed as 1 on 16th by the integral of 1 minus a half of cos 2x minus cos of 4x plus a half cos of 6x with respect to x. And the integral on the right hand side is very easy to carry out. So you have 1 on 16th. 1 integrates to x minus a half. Cos of 2x integrates to sine of 2x, but we have to differentiate by the 2x, or divide by the differentiation of 2x, I should say. So this gives us 1 half minus cos of 4x integrates to sine of 4x, divide by the differentiation of 4x. So it's effectively multiplied by 1 quarter plus one half of sine of 6x divided by the differentiation of 6x which is effectively multiplied by 1 6 and of course plus a integration constant c. So tidying up this result we have x on 16 minus a half times a half is a quarter by 16 by 1 on 16 is equal to a 1 on 64 so we have sine of 2x on 64 minus sine of 4x on 64 1 half times 1 6 is equal to 1 12th times 1 16th is equal to 1 on 192 so we have plus sine of 6x on 192 plus the integration constant c. So as you can see the key to evaluating integrals of even powers of sine and cosine is to reduce the powers down to the first power of cosine and this process can be quite long and iterative but with the help of trigonometric identities we can certainly turn an integrand which is not really integratable to one that is easily integratable. So that'll do it for this video. Please give me a like if you have found this to be useful and please feel free to subscribe to my channel 
for future videos that may help you with your math studies. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask by using the comments below. And until next time, best of luck.